Hello everyone, welcome to our TLE 7 class, quarter 2, week 3. This week we are going to, 1. Explain farm waste processing, and, 2. Perform basket composting and foliar fertilizer fermentation. Before we begin our lesson, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. It's tough not being monetized, and your support would mean a lot to me. By liking and subscribing, you'll help me create even more educational content. If you have any suggestions for improvement, please feel free to comment below. Thank you. This time, let's carefully analyze these videos of different plants and crops on the farm, and identify the best methods for taking care of them to ensure they thrive. Number 1. Very good, it is weeding. Number 2. Very good, it is watering the plants. Number 3. Very good, it is cultivating the soil. Number 4. Yes, very good, it is exposing the plants to sunlight. Number 5. Yes, very good, it is applying fertilizer to the plants. Now, in this video shows the exploitation of untapped potentials of agricultural waste. After this let's connect it in today's topic. And now, can somebody from the class define what is waste management in your own words and understanding? There are six basic functions of agriculture waste management in the farm. 1. Production. It is the function of the amount and nature of agricultural waste generated by an agricultural enterprise. The waste requires management if the quantity produced is sufficient enough to become a resource concern. A complete analysis of production includes the kind, consistency, volume, location, and timing of the waste produced. 2. Collection. It refers to the initial capture and gathering of the waste from the point of origin or deposition to a collection point. The method of collection, location of the collection points, scheduling of the collection, labor requirements, necessary equipment or structural facilities, management and installation costs of the components, and the impact that collection has on the consistency of the waste should be identified. 3. Transfer. It refers to the movement and transportation of the waste throughout the system. It includes the transfer of the waste from the collection point to the storage facility, to the treatment facility, and to the utilization site. 4. Storage. It is the temporary containment of the waste. The storage facility of a waste management system is the tool that gives the manager control over the scheduling and timing of the system functions. 5. Treatment. It is another function designed to reduce the pollution potential or modify the physical characteristics of the waste, such as moisture and total solid TS, content, to facilitate more efficient and effective handling. Manure treatment is comprised of physical, biological, and chemical unit processes. It also includes activities that are sometimes considered pretreatment, such as the separation of solids. 6. Utilization. It includes reusing and or recycling of waste products. Agricultural wastes may be used as a source of energy, bedding, mulch, organic matter, or plant nutrients. When properly treated, they can be marketable. Here are the different types of waste. 1. Liquid waste. It is commonly found in households as well as in industries. This waste includes dirty water, organic liquids, wash water, waste detergents and even rainwater. 2. Solid rubbish. Solid rubbish can include various items found in your household, along with commercial and industrial locations. Solid rubbish is commonly broken down into the following types. First, plastic waste. It consists of plastic bags, containers, jars, bottles and other products that can be found at home. Plastic is not biodegradable, other types of plastic can be recycled. 
Take note that plastic should not be mixed in with your regular waste. It should be sorted and placed in your recycling bin. Second, paper or card waste. It includes packaging materials, old newspapers, used cardboard and other products. Paper can easily be recycled and reused, so place them in your recycling bin and think of the best way how you can use those as your materials in creating something saleable out of it. Third, tins and metals. It can be found in various forms throughout your home. Most metals can be recycled. It can be recycled and used in making some display materials at home like creating flower vase, small lampshade etc. Fourth, ceramics and glass. These items can easily be recycled. Look for special glass and bottles and can create them into something useful like sugar, coffee, and cream containers. 3. Organic waste. Organic waste is another common household. All food waste, garden waste, manure and rotten meat are classified as organic waste. Over time, organic waste is turned into manure by microorganisms. 4. Recyclable rubbish. Recyclable rubbish includes all waste items that can be converted into products that can be used again. Solid items such as paper, metals, furniture and organic waste can all be recycled. 5. Hazardous waste. It includes all types of flammables, toxic, corrosive and reactive rubbish. It also includes radioactive waste and chemical wastes. Example, paints, batteries, light bulbs, fluorescent tubes, pesticides, weed killers, gas bottles, chemical fertilizers, etc. 6. Industrial waste. Industrial waste is any type of waste that is produced by an industrial process. This can include manufacturing, construction and mining processes. This is a broad category that can include anything from asbestos and clinical waste to oil and chemicals. This time, we are going to make a basket compost at home or in school. These are the materials needed for basket composting. 1. Used plastic water container, removed upper part of it by cutting using a cutter or pair of scissors. 2. Prepare dried leaves taken from your backyard. 3. Rotten produce, like vegetables and fruit peeling. 4. Eggshells. 5. Soil. 6. Water. 7. Hand trowel. 8. Disposable hand gloves. For the procedures in making basket compost. 1. Prepare all the materials needed for basket composting. 2. Separate dried leaves, peeling of fruits and rotten produce. 3. In a plastic container put some soil in the bottom part of it. 4. Add rotten produce like dried leaves, fruit peeling, eggshells and rotten vegetables and pile it as the next layer. Alternately add the soil and the prepared rotten produce until it reaches the top part of the plastic container. 5. And water the compost pile placed in the water container. Wait until the piled compost decomposed. 